you get older, you might need extra help with things like shopping and cleaning, and sometimes more personal assistance, for example, to get washed and dressed. Some people get this care in their own homes. Others move to a care home or supported housing. Heather and her husband Harold realised they needed help when Harold suffered a series of mini strokes and then had a fall. The main concern was uh, to check on sort of safety in the home. An assessment was made for where handles perhaps would be useful to help get from room to room. A physiotherapist came and tried to help him with his walking and gave him exercises to do, which he never did. And it wasn't until I had an accident in the garden and could no longer um, look after him, particularly in the morning, getting him in the shower and dressed and so on, that we, ne we felt that we needed to get some help. And there are many ways to find out about adult social care. One good way is to contact your local council's adult social care department. They'll be able to offer you a free needs assessment and they can discuss your financial situation, whether you'll need to pay towards the care and whether you're entitled to any other benefits or equipment. Or your GP can make a referral for you but won't be able to tell you what care you need or what's available. So my daughter-in-law got in touch with social services and they said, uh, oh yes, we can um, come and assess um, my husband in about 48 hours. So I said, well, I need somebody now. So they made uh, discreet inquiries as to whether we had any savings and... Uh, Either, well, fortunately or unfortunately, we had over the limit and I was told that, oh, well, you can apply to uh, any care agency. There are several ways to get care in your own home. A home care agency can send a care worker. Hiya, it's Lucy. The council can provide you with a list of agencies in your area. You may also want to look online or ask friends for recommendations. You can also employ someone direct. Of course, this will come with responsibilities of being an employer. If you're struggling to find the appropriate help, support brokers are professionals who, for a charge, can make recommendations and arrange services for you. A broker might be offered through your local council, or you could approach one independently. Heather chose to contact a home care agency herself. After going through the various names and numbers, I got in touch with one and they said, well, when do you need help for? I said, seven o'clock tomorrow morning. And it was arranged and we've had that carer ever since and it's a wonderful start to the day. For some people, running a house and looking after themselves at home becomes just too difficult. For them, an option is to move into a care home for a short stay or permanently, or into supported housing. Heather first started to look into care home stays for her husband when she realised she needed a break. I uh, made inquiries about uh, care homes and found what I thought was a really good one for him and uh, had my week in France. When she returned from her holiday, Heather also arranged for her husband to attend a daycare centre. To find residential or daycare that's right for you, you'll need to do some research. You can go online to read reviews, speak to friends, or visit or telephone care homes directly to ask questions. Consider what's important for you. Are there lots of activities in the home? Is it near to shops or to your friends and family? And a big issue for many people, how much will it cost? When it comes to uh, care, care homes and day centres, um, it has to come entirely out of our own pocket because we are, our savings are over the uh, limit that they set. Unlike healthcare, adult social care of any type 
is not free for everyone. Most people will have to pay something. If you're going to pay for care, and especially if you own your own home or have savings, it's a good idea to consult an independent financial advisor or a solicitor. I went along to a free session with a solicitor uh, run by Age Concern, um, uh, where a solicitor uh, gave you half an hour and talked through inheritance rules and various things like that. Solicitors and financial advisors can help you to manage your money as circumstances change and check that you're receiving all the benefits you're entitled to, including attendance allowance, which Heather was able to claim. He actually uh, qualified for the higher rate, which was seemed very good, this allowance, and we were able to, uh, you know, pay for taxes to go for appointments and... Uh, it, it helped quite a lot, did that. There's no one right way to find out about help and care as you get older. The important thing is to plan ahead to find the right care for you and make use of all the support available. When, you know, your husband and yourself, you're together for all those years, things just change as you go along your way. It's okay to get on with it, but it is nice to have the outside help.